gossip. <laughs> What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the 423. Gabby Hanna has been in the headlines a lot recently because of a back and forth going on between her and Trisha Paytas. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't giving Trisha's claims much weight because I don't believe anything that comes out of her mouth. At this point, she's lost all credibility in my eyes. But now, more people are coming forward with their stories about Gabby and trying to put an end to her behavior. If you're not familiar with why Trisha originally made the video exposing Gabby and is now suing her, it's because Gabby allegedly started a rumor that Trisha has herpes. But according to Gabby, she simply told her friend Jason to be careful when he first started dating Trisha, claiming she didn't spread any rumors but was simply trying to protect a friend. Reactions to this were mixed because, like I said, nobody takes Trisha seriously anymore and it's hard to determine when she's trolling and when she's not, but on top of that, a lot of people supported a friend telling them that their partner had an STD if, in fact, that's all she did. So these claims from Trisha alone didn't really affect Gabby much. She has been losing subscribers, but really nothing significant compared to the 6 million that she has. But now, things are heating up even more. Jesse Smiles is another YouTuber who used to be best friends with Gabby years and years ago, and in light of all this drama, she decided to upload a video titled Gabby Hanna Needs to be Stopped, in which she talks about an incident between Gabby and a fan. In the video, she admits to tweeting something cryptic about the situation after seeing Trisha's video, but deleting it after it got too much attention because a lot of people took that as a subtweet toward Gabby. That's what caused one fan named Deanna to let off her own tweet about Gabby, writing, I think a lot of people forget or don't know, Gabby Hanna chose a rapist, a rapist who admitted and wrote a signed confession to the cops over her then best friend, who was the victim. And she didn't just do it privately, but publicly, that's always bothered me. Really quickly, if you're not familiar with this situation, Jesse used to date a fellow Vine star named Curtis Lepore, who pled guilty to felony assault after she accused him of raping her while she was unconscious. So that's the situation that the fan was referring to in her tweet. Gabby Hanna ended up seeing Deanna's tweet and decided to reply, but not publicly, in her DMs. They had a very lengthy exchange, and afterward, the fan sent those DMs to Jessie, which is why she made her video. There are a lot of messages here, so I'm not going to go through every single one, but throughout this exchange, Gabby is telling this fan that she's wrong about her initial tweet, gets her to issue a public correction slash apology, and ends up sending her random screenshots of private conversations between her and Jesse. So in response to Deanna's tweet, Gabby messaged her saying, I'm genuinely not trying to engage with this stuff because it's gossip, but this is one that truly confuses me because I don't understand why anyone believes it. If I collab with my friend's ex, especially publicly, where is it? Where is any photo, any video? It doesn't exist because it didn't happen. That man is not my friend and never has been my friend. The fan responds by apologizing and explaining that there are a lot of people out there who remember her taking Curtis's side after the rape allegations, and Gabby continues to deny this in the following messages, saying, Jesse and I weren't friends when the allegations went down. We became friends after. Once we were friends, I literally never talked to or collabed with Curtis. And then she goes into some rambling about Jesse starting a hate campaign about her once their friendship ended, which isn't really related to this whole situation, but you can pause and read for yourself if you'd like. She goes on to say, I would never publicly support him. I told him verbatim when he reached out after what Jesse did to me. I got a call from an unknown number and answered, and it was him. He said he heard what happened, and I want to apologize for being so unkind to you in the past, and I said thanks for the apology, but just so you know, I'd never side with you or bash Jesse publicly, regardless of what she did, but the shit she did was so nasty that Curtis heard about it. And throughout these screenshots, the theme seems to be that Gabby is using this as an excuse to talk poorly of Jesse to this random fan. If you'll recall, the fan's tweet had nothing to do with Jesse. Jesse didn't say anything directly about Gabby in her very vague subtweet. And now all of Gabby's messages include things about the disintegration of their friendship in an effort to make Jesse look bad. 
Later, Gabby starts to send screenshots of private conversations between her and Jesse, saying, That girl had tried to bring me down so many times, and in the meantime, look. Yeah, she's so friendly to me. Pretends to be sorry and smiles in my face, then does shit like this when I'm in trouble. And the screenshot she sent was just a random convo where they're talking about vegan food and apartment buildings. And she continues the conversation further, saying, She knows she's a liar is the thing. She called me so many times saying she's been on meds and is better now and was sorry for everything. Then blocks me out of nowhere and it starts all over. She proceeds to send more private screenshots of unrelated conversations between her and Jesse. Then Gabby begins to address the allegations that she supported Curtis, writing, I haven't been able to find any tweets, but if they're out there, they're fake. And you can go on the Wayback Machine and see that, but show me tweets. The only thing I could find between Gabby and Curtis were from 2013, which was before Jesse's rape allegations against him, so that holds true. But it does seem weird that she would keep asking to see something if she supposedly knows it never happened. Deanna responds saying, The gist of the tweet was you saying that you're standing by Curtis's size no matter what and he's innocent. I distinctively remember this one because when I saw your name by it, it broke my heart. And I've gotten hundreds of mentions and DMs saying they remember the same exact tweet. To this, Gabby said, OMG LMAO, that would be a thousand percent fake. That's insane. I'm actually laughing so hard because it's that far-fetched. The fan then sent a vine of Curtis's that she believed Gabby to be in, but Gabby denied it, saying it was someone else. According to Jesse, there were photos of Gabby and Curtis hanging out after their friendship ended, and when she privately confronted Gabby about it, she told Jesse that she was hanging out with Curtis's friends and he just happened to pop up, and she allegedly defended herself hanging out with them by saying, Curtis's friends didn't rape you. Deanna went back to talking about the tweet she mentioned prior, promising on her dead grandpa's grave that she remembers the tweet, to which Gabby replies, the tweet isn't real. If it exists, then find the fake screenshot, because I googled it and I can't find it. And once again, I think it's weird for someone to google something in order to find out whether or not they said it. It sounds like she's not too sure. After this, the fan offers to issue a public apology, to which Gabby says, I mean, yeah, you can totally say you looked into it and realized it was based on nothing, or whatever it is you want to say, but I think the damage has definitely been done. After this, Deanna apologized profusely, the conversation ends, and then for some reason, Gabby starts the conversation again just to talk more shit about Jesse and send more private screenshots. She sent a screenshot of Jesse texting her asking Gabby if she needed a video editor because she was starting to do that on the side and have YouTube videos take a back seat. And Gabby wrote along with this screenshot, same girl who's asking me for a job is trying to ruin my career. I'm not sure if she expected the fan to leak this conversation or not, but she's really trying to get this random person that she does not know on her side for whatever reason. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Obviously, you can watch Jessie's video to hear everything she has to say about the whole situation, but she made this video to show that Gabby took the time out of her day to respond to a random fan who didn't even directly mention Jessie, just to spend hours defaming her former friend and trying to convince this fan to be on her side. I don't really have a dog in this fight, I'm not a big fan of either of these girls, but it does seem like the consensus here from multiple people is that Gabby is pretty toxic. And from these screenshots, it's not looking good. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. What do you think of Trisha and now Jessie's claims against Gabby Hanna? And do you think that these accounts will end up hurting her career at all? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe to The 423 for more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.